it's lactose intolerance or just a matter of taste, more and more people are ditching moo juice in favor of plant-based alternatives. Our Mike Randall checks out an Alma facility that's on the cutting edge when it comes to making milk without the cows. You may be looking at the milk of the future. That's what the woman who invented it thinks. A serving of any of these milks is equivalent to a handful of nuts. Dr. Cheryl Mitchell is a food scientist. She's made a career of creating plant-based foods. Actually, I developed the uh, base for uh, Rice Dream, which became the number one non-dairy beverage. For her latest endeavor, Elmhurst Milked, she came up with a new way of extracting all the good stuff from nuts, grains, and seeds without having to add chemicals. We're maximizing nutrition, fewer ingredients because it's just the nuts. At the 30,000 square foot facility in Elma, it all begins with these two ton bags of nuts. It starts here and then it goes into the milking skid. Dr. Mitchell knows every inch of this one of a kind aseptic production facility. She designed it. Everything comes in fresh here, gets to here as a milk and we put it over there and they package it. She says she has nothing against traditional dairies. In fact, Dr. Mitchell partnered with Henry Schwartz when his family's Elmhurst dairy closed. He was delivering nutrition to the doorstep and I said, Henry, the future is delivering nutrition to the doorsteps and we're still doing it. Sustainability is a big reason that many believe plant-based foods like these are the future. And as Dr. Cheryl Mitchell points out, it probably doesn't hurt if they taste good too. Very good. Very Isn't good. It? Creamy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's creamy. For the Nile Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.